for YouTube is Temba here. Today I want to share with you the current update of the media player I am building. You know. So, first file we have around uh, 237 lines of code and the second one we have around 160 and 190 and then 1140 including comments. So, these are just the the CPP files only I'm showing you then there's also HPPP files here so I'm just gonna build the project and show you what I implemented so far so it's building and then after that of course it has some warnings ignore that uh, if it didn't find the path here as you can see during compilation it then it produced an, a warning you know so now that the, the the compilation or the build is success, so I'm gonna run the application and then I'm gonna minimize the IDE. So this is the app. It looks it does not look nice actually. I can say the front page, if I can say, I mean the the default home page, you know. So yeah, they call it a dashboard. So yeah. I'm gonna first as you can see this button next it it tells me whenever I wanna play that uh, please add some media files to play. You simply drag and drop or go to settings and add media folders. Open settings now, there's no any so I can click yes here and then it took me to settings where I can actually add a media part here or a folder containing music so I'm gonna browse some a folder, a certain folder from my network drive, and I'm gonna under music. Okay, I'm gonna select this one. So a folder is set, is added automatically when you edit it will then scan and find media files from inside the folder. So if you can go now to all music, you can see that folder it contains four four tracks there, and also the artist immediately you scroll down here it will automatically select the first item available in the list if it, nothing was selected before and automatically list the media files that side same applies as you can I'm not sure you notice that it's too fast it's too fast when it leads so we will maybe add some more and if you can check there's nothing under played and recent so I'm just gonna play one from maybe this one I'm not sure if you can hear the volume, the sound, and also I I implemented a, a volume control. You can control it from here, as you can see, or you can also control it. Simply select the form, the form itself. <coughs> itself. You select the form itself, and then if. I scroll down the wheel and then it increases the volume. You can sit down here towards volume seventy percent. I scroll up and down. See. Notice that if I, I, I scroll from the top level, it, it decreased by ten percent as you can see and also increased by ten percent. But from down actually it does it by by twenty percent. I'm not sure if you can see it reduced and increased by 20%. So, yeah, so another thing I implemented is that we can actually connect. Next. Next. And, and then it will begin from the first one if it reaches the last one as you can see here uh, track number one so another thing I implemented is that whenever I click this current play here it pop up the, the, the list you are currently playing here if I can reduce the volume I, if I click here it actually show me the list that you are currently playing without you going to the menu That's a, so if maybe you are playing from all songs and then the list that will show here is from all songs as you can see all songs there 
so if you can check also under most played the one you must play will always be listed at first there so maybe if I can double click uh, which one I can do this one and you see it return wind no rain uh, is this one I double click it notice that it shifted it went to be the first one I double click I double click again so each time you double click it's more like you play it so it just counts how many times you played it and then become the first one and under under the stand the the one you are currently playing will always be listed at first so so let me just add more Okay. Simply drag and drop. So the folders that I dropped now, since I did not browse them manually here, they're not showing here. So it's something I'm not sure if I must have to add them here as you drop them, or I will hear from you, of course. And then notice that. Uh, Notice that uh, the artists were added, the albums were added, everything was added simply by dragging and dropping. So, if I can double click this one, and then whenever I come back here, it show me this list is the one that I just double clicked from. So, I can just right click anywhere and click next. You see, it will go to the next track. I can just right click anywhere but next it will always go to the next one and also if maybe I go to all songs here it will always show you the last the last track you selected is will always be selected but notice that I can actually click next from anywhere I am and this next that it just clicked is actually this as you can see there so the next, the previous, the play, the pose, it, it actually work for this list here. So what if I want to play from here, I can just double click anywhere to play. Or I can actually, let's come from the, from the gender, I can, I can actually uh, click it and then right click and then click play new. So this play new will play the selected one from here without you going to the or without you actually double clicking the file you can actually play the section one for me and then this is pause and resume as you can see it can pause it and then you can actually resume it even if you have this side and click it can resume so pause and then anywhere you are you can actually pause the song and actually resume the song so that's what I am trying to say so about opening the part, I can actually open the part as you can see. And the part, it works for the selected song. So if I can select here, it actually in a background, it record anytime I click and select a file, it actually record it. So that if I can just right click anywhere here and click part, it will actually open the one that was lastly selected, which is this one, as you can see. So what I'm trying to say is that if I can come here and select this one and then I come on the next one and then I don't select anything, it will actually check the one that was previously selected on where it is, which is here. And then under apart I did not implement much and under settings also I can change the the skin the color all those as you can see however I would prefer the orange one for now and then under playlist I did not code yet but the menu is there and here if I can click <coughs> it will tell me to select the song to play because it check here it find us I did not select anything because actually there's nothing okay so so yeah and I did not code info here information 
so I didn't call it yet and share there's nothing there to share so I'm not sure if I must put share via Bluetooth or share via I don't know how can I do it yet but what I know is this upload will upload to Google Drive to Dropbox and to OneDrive and thus I have tested the theory it works so it shouldn't be a problem implementing it so and also let's see what else yeah the menu that is showing from the album site I didn't implement it uh, yet only the menu showing from this side is implemented as you can see this menu and the menu from this side are different see this menu are different also you notice that I can right click an album or an artist here it also have this option to archive hence on the start menu under tools here where we have archive archive so but actually I did not implement this yet I did not implement this yet I didn't implement the rest of the things so but my plan is that from here I should be able to actually zip this selected this selected artist I should be able to zip it from here without going to where it is located and, and search before I zip this and also for example if I add maybe the current track into a playlist I can create a playlist and I should be able to zip that playlist so the playlist will know where the files located and then zip it and then from there I can choose to upload it to one of these if I want to upload it and then this information will just display maybe how many tracks inside this and who's the artist what the album and all those things and then remove we know what it will do location will open the way this thing is located and add to you can add it to a certain playlist actually and you can also save it as a playlist itself so so I don't know if I'm leaving something behind but this is what I did so far and notice that here displayed the total number of tracks in the previous version it was not there and also now actually like most of them I think I programmed all of them to display the the number of items inside each list as you can see and here this will register file association I tested it I, I actually built it separately to test if it works yes it does work so I will just integrate it here and then yes it will do file association and install codec since there are some of the media pipe files by default they are not going to play until you have codecs so this thing it will come with codecs you, should, you will just check here and then after that it will install the codecs and it will play actually most of your audio files including video files so so there's something here i want to show you also that i figured if i can maybe come to my desktop here where is test music uh, where is it hiding? Local test data. I, I when I drop this thing here, as you can see, it's, it's actually adding those those media files. But actually, if I can scroll down and look carefully, I may find a video file. Like this is a video file. This is a video file. This is a video file. You know. <coughs> sorry about that so maybe we can play one video file just to see if it, it can play a video but actually this is not a, a video player it's just a media player so I have to eliminate it from playing a video file as you can see it just opens in a new window and I have to maybe I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I will figure a way out to actually disable all the videos option or at least uh, or if we want to accommodate them then it has to be a media player not an audio player you see the title you wrote ST audio player so so actually I have to eliminate the video the video so notice that if I close this by the audio of the video is still playing in the background you know so <coughs>
Yeah, I'm just crawling down the wheel again just to control the, vol the volume. And what else do I need to? Yeah, I can say that's it for now. And by the way, so far it does not save to file this information you see here. So every time I run it, it to be blank, I have to start from scratch and add the media files, which I wanna avoid. So, so I have to make sure that it can remember all the files you added before. So that next time you open it, it does not uh, bother you, but it just continues where it just stopped, you know. Also, about the the album art or the album cover, I removed it for now. On the previous video, it was there actually showing. So I had a, li a little challenge, I, something I have to solve first before I can make sure that it display the album cover here and also display the album cover for each and every similar album here. And also notice that if I select the genre here, the moment I click it, it will take me where the genre of genre is appearing, you know. So let's see if it can do that. Here it selected genre. So if I maybe I can play a rock. And let me increase the volume a bit. And then after that I select add something else like that. So just because here it wrote rock, immediately I click here, it will take me where there is rock and it will select it. That show me that now I selected rock. Also if maybe I, I select a rocket to the moon, this is the artist name. When I click it, it will take me to artist and make sure that a rocket to the moon is selected. And then show me all the tracks belonging to this artist. And then this is just the album, so it does the same too. But it takes me to album, you select the album name, it show me the tracks inside that album. And then this one I did show you, it will just invoke the list on this side panel here. And you see, there's nothing that is checked there, but actually, this song is number one according to what I see here. It wrote track number one, track number one of 12. So, to prove that, I can just right click anywhere and click next. So, you can see it can select now number two. So, I also have to solve that. I have to make sure that when I come to this page, it can actually select the track here. Since I'm able to display it here, I just have to activate the index and make sure it's selected. Yeah, so that's that's the current status. So I also have to implement a search feature here. So when you search here, it's supposed to actually filter and show me what, the, what I have searched here. But now I did not implement it yet. So there's still a lot to do. So so also I am not sure if I must publish. A, I'm not sure if I must publish with missing features and then put the rest of the features on version two or something like that. Because I'm actually rushing to, I'm actually working very fast just to make sure also that I I push this thing fast, fast and make sure it's available online for download. So, so by the way, also Shuffle is working, you can turn it on and off. So somebody may expect maybe an icon to change and write on and off on the icon itself. But actually, I write, chose to write it on the special part since I don't have an icon for on and off. I just have Shuffle here. Same applies with the repeat, you can see repeat all here, repeat none here, and repeat one here. So it's working. Also, I did test it. And also, the volume, notice that um, as it drops down, the icon changes. And then it, it on mute, it also changes to mute, you know. So, <coughs> sorry about that. And also, this thing is working. It is working, and also the the duration also is something I just implemented, and it's also working fine. And what else am I leaving behind? I don't know. I don't know what else, but yes, that's the current state. That's the current status, and I'm still struggling with lots of things on this list I still have to implement a search I have to check always check always is this uh, this thing here when I click I must make sure that at least immediately I click already already check the current playing song so that you don't get confused and start searching where is it where is it 
I don't want that. I want that to immediately. I click at first time. I see it's already appearing on the list. And the pop-up menu. Never mind the the spelling where I wrote. I was in the rush, of course. So the pop-up menu. I'm referring to this one. So as I don't forget, it's here. So the most important things I have is to collect information about the current playing track and I need to be able to because some of computers have different resolutions of a screen so, so sometimes maybe under such things you find out these components here that they, they get hidden like I'm not sure if you can get my my point but some sometimes they do get hidden so that's why I wrote a piece of code to make sure it always show and it, it becomes so user friendly also I must not forget to create a, a playlist as you can see now it's still empty there it's just a reminder of some of the things I have to do and I have to I must not forget to the file stream save object to file so this file stream is to make sure that whenever you close the application it saves all the information to a, a custom file stream and then after that when you open it next time it recall or it gets back all this information it already have so I have to implement that too the donate button is just this donate button here and file association is one of the crucial parts I have to do a jump list I have to do it I mean a jump list like if I right click here it must be able to show me the files you currently played somewhere here listed here and then open with of course if you right click a media file like let's see if I can right click one here you must be able to see add to ST media player or open with ST media player something like that I actually tested it before it worked so it shouldn't be a problem also to, to do that and also another important thing is pass files to another app is like maybe if this media player is already open there and then I right click I say add to to add to ST media player since it's already opened it is just have to edit but then if the program is already closed then it have to open a new instance if the, the program is already open then no need for you to open a new instance but you can use the existing instance of the application to play the media file that's what I, I was referring to so and then of course the shortcut label P for previous and for next is things I have to implement also then this also is more important to upload to those drive and and yeah so tomorrow I'll be researching more about the icons because I have to change this default look here I have to put good icons here and remove this garbage here and then here I have to research more so yeah I will just give you a feedback and then I will hear from you on what what do you want me to add, what do you want me to remove and then after that once it's done then I will post it and make sure it's available for downloads. Once again, thanks for watching and enjoy.